Hey everyone, I hope you are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, this video is part two of the previous video because we are now working on a project. We are making a silent auction program or we can say a secret auction program. So what is this project? What output you will get when you run this program and the flow chart of this project we have discussed in the previous video, right? Now in this video, we'll see the solution, the complete code one by one, step by step. So if you haven't tried this out yet, please pause the video, watch out the previous video and try this out yourself. This is a simple project, it's for beginners. And then we'll see the solution together, right? I hope now you have watched the previous video and you have tried this out. Now let's see the solution together. So let's create a new file here and silentauction.py, right? Now, very first step we'll implement, you just keep your flow chart of this project that what we have discussed in previous video with you on a paper, right? I have mine, see this one, right? So one by one we'll see the, we'll implement the step. So first is you have to input name and the bid price. So obviously we have a input function, we know how to use input function. So first is we'll ask what is your name? Then next input is price, bid price. What is your bid? But see, one thing you need to take care, using input, if you'll take the bid, it would be maybe 10,000 rupees, 5,000 rupees, and that is integer. But using input, you'll take that would be considered as string. So better at this point only typecast this, right? Otherwise, it will give error. So we are going to typecast this thing, okay? Now, next step is you have to add this name and bid into a dictionary. Why in a dictionary we are storing the data? Because we are storing, obviously we want like first the name of the person, then bid price, this type of thing we want. Like if you write on a piece of paper, then how you will write these prices? Name like Jenny, then bid price, then maybe name Ram, bid price, like this. So this type of data arrangement we can also do or you can say imitate in programming with the help of dictionary. We have a, a data structure, right, dictionary. So that's why we are using a dictionary here because it is, a, you can say, you know, dictionary is a great way to store this type of data, structured information, right? Okay, now let's take our dictionary name. So first we'll take, suppose an empty dictionary. So bidder data, that's an empty dictionary, right? Or better to take this before asking the name and price, okay? You'll get it why I'm taking for at first the empty dictionary. Bidder data and this is with an empty dictionary, right? Now, how to add, say this name would be key and price would be value in a dictionary, right? So how to add data in dictionary? We have discussed this thing previous. So the name of the dictionary, then here the key value, key is the name, whatever in the name we will provide. So name and equal to value. Value is in which variable? Price. Fine. Okay. Now this will ask only for one time name and price, but we want, it will ask First the question, are there, are there any other bidder, more bidder? If you press yes, then it will ask again name and price. Again, if it will, you, will, you will enter yes, again it will ask name and price. So this asking of this name and price, this should be in a loop. But how many times? We don't know. As many times as you enter yes, 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 it will ask. Once you press no, it will exit. So we don't know the number of iteration. So which is the best loop in this case? While loop, right? So we'll put this thing in a while loop, right? How? I'll show you. First, uh, let me just ask the question. Are there more bidder? You have to type yes or no. Suppose I'm uh, taking this yes or no in, uh, like I, I consider this should be in small, right? So let's just use a function here. It will convert whatever you will type. If you will type capital Y, yes, it will convert into lower. 
So, whatever you will enter that we are going to store in a variable and the variable is suppose we are taking this name or uh, this name more bidders right okay now we will check if this variable more bidders equal to equal to if it is a no then if it is a no check the flow chart then you have to find out the highest bid in the dictionary so for that suppose rather than writing the complete code in this if just define a function separate function and we will call the function if more bidders are no suppose function name i am taking find winner and there what you have to pass the dictionary the complete data the information of all the bidders right so that we are having in this dictionary bidder data that simply you need to pass right and obviously now if more there are no more bidders then you have to exit so how to exit at this point of time you have to put a condition to exit from the loop so first write down a while loop here while okay if if uh, we don't know the definite number of iteration we use while loop but what condition you will put here generally in this cases we use a flag variable right flag variable is true right at first flag variable will set flag variable false or true it depends which type of logic you are going to implement and then we are going to flip that flag variable within this while loop if certain exit condition is occurred right so we are taking first a variable end of bidding and obviously it's not end of bidding so at first it is false so while not end of bidding this is the condition at first it is false not false is true so while true means we are going to enter into this while loop but the, the everything within this while loop should be indented right now if more bidders are no so now it's time to flip the variable because now it's time to exit from this while loop so now we are going to flip the variable end of bidding is equal to true because if it, it is true then again in next iteration while not true means not true means false while false means condition uh, is not true false means exit from the loop now right and then simply call this function right okay now let's define this function first obviously you have to define the function before calling so how to define a function def same name you need to take what find winner and we are passing a dictionary so only one argument you are passing so one parameter name you need to take and that i am taking suppose bidder details right okay now we have bidder details suppose in a dictionary we are having two values jenny with bid price ram with some bid price right okay now you have to look through through this dictionary because how to access the price the values using keys we can access right so we have to access the first price first we have to access jenny then the price then second ram then price and compare those prices which is the highest if three then also we will access the third one and we'll compare right you have to find out the highest so if you know the logic to find highest from given numbers from three numbers or four numbers then it would be definitely easy for you guys to write down this logic right okay now a for loop for bidder in bidder details and if we write down this kind of for loop then this this will loop through all the keys this thing we have discussed especially this for loop when we are discussing the introduction to dictionaries right for bidder in bidder details suppose in bidder details i am having like this jenny 10000 and next ram 30000 or suppose 3 one more sham 50000 
Suppose this is my dictionary, right? Now for bidder in bidder detail, so first time it will loop through the keys. So first time in bidder, Jenny would be assigned, Jenny. Now according to the Jenny, we have to, we have to fetch the bid price. How to fetch? We know. First take a variable name in which whatever price is there, we are going to fetch that we are going to store in that variable. So suppose we are taking a variable name bidding price and how to fetch this name of the dictionary and in subscript just pass the key. The key is in this variable bidder. Now Jenny would be passed and 10,000 would be fetched and that would be now in bidding price. So now in bidding price we are having 10,000, right? Now one by one we are, we are going to compare. So if you know the logic how to find out maximum from three, three numbers, there are multiple logic but one is simply we suppose before this for loop simply first we set We are, we are going to take a variable highest bid equal to 0, right? Now we will compare. Now we have one bidding price 10,000. So we compare if this bidding price is greater than the highest bid, this bid, definitely it is greater because first at first it is 0. So what you will do? We will change this highest bid. Highest bid now becomes whatever the bidding price right now highest bid is 0 bidding price now at this point of time 10,000 so yeah this condition is true now in highest bid equal to bidding price so 10,000 would be assigned to this highest bid it's not 0 now it's 10,000 right okay now same again next time in next iteration in bidder ram would be assigned so we'll fetch the ram detail of ram in bidding price this time we are having 30,000 we are having 30,000. So check if bidding price greater than highest bid. Highest bid now is 10,000. Bidding price is 30,000. Condition true? Yes. Enter and highest bid becomes bidding price. So highest become highest bid becomes now what is the bidding price right now? 30,000. So it becomes 30,000. Right. And suppose Sham for Sham it's only 5,000. Next time Sham would be assigned in bidder. So bidding price is 5,000. Now check. Bidding price 5000 greater than highest bid is 30,000. Is, is that condition true? This condition true? No. So, we will not enter into this if block. So, this highest bid would not be changed and this would be 30,000 only. Right? Now, okay, if suppose we are having only 3 data. So, that is it. After that what? Now, you have to print winner is RAM with a bid of 30,000. Right? So, suppose we are again here taking a empty string, right? So, at this point of time, winner equal to whatever the bidder is. Within this for loop only, we will assign winner equal to bidder, right? Okay. Now, outside of this for loop, we will print using f string like the winner is and that value we have in this sorry this variable winner with a bid price of and that value we are having in this variable highest bid right. I know it will work or not. Let's run this and see. Let's run this and what it will ask? What is your name? Jenny. Bid 10,000. More bidder? Yes. But see one problem is here. If you are you enter yes, it should clear the previous bidder price and name but it is not clearing. So that one thing you have to include still in your program. What is your name? Ram. Price 50,000. More bidder? Yes. Sham. Price only 5,000. More bidder? No. The winner is Ram with a bid of 50,000. Yeah, this program is working. Only one thing you need to add. If you press, if you enter yes, the previous 
name and the bid price should be cleared because no other person can see the other person bid. So that we need to implement. Now here we are having, we are not having like in C and the C plus we are having clear screen method. So here what you have to import a module OS. So there are okay multiple methods also to clear this screen right one way I am just telling you. In OS module we have a function system and you have to call that function you have to just pass one parameter CLS if you are working on Windows and if you are working on Linux then you have to pass what uh, clear CLEAR. So I am working on Windows so just import this first OS and when I want to clear the screen when at that point only you need to call the system function with CLS parameter. So if more bidder no then true and then find bidder but if else if more bidders equal to equal to yes at this point of time we need to clear the screen. So one more condition you need to put lf more bidder equal to yes then just call the function from os module os dot system function and what command you need to give cls in bracket parameter you need to pass cls if you are working in windows okay now one more thing you have to run this in python console right so first thing if i directly run this in python console right click here and if I run, run file in python console it will not run see error running this silent auction there is some error. So what you need to do first you need to change some condition uh, something right click on this file right then you have to modify the run configuration modify run configuration and here this on execution we have a uh, option emulate terminal in output console right uh, just tick this thing and apply ok. Now right click here run file in python console and see what is your name gen bid 10,000 more bidder yes now see previous screen is cleared yes ram bid like this more bidder yes sham bid only thousand enter more bidder no so the winner is jenny with the bid price ten thousand and if you want to display at the last if you want to display all the information like all the uh, person all the bidders and with bidder price so simply i think you can modify this thing I want to display the information of all the bidder at last, at last when you press no. How you will do that? Pause the video in this, try this out. So I hope you have done this. Now before printing the winner here, outside of this for loop, outside of, outside of this for loop in this definition of this function, before printing the winner, simply you can print and you can just uh, sorry print the bidder detail because in this dictionary we are having the deta detail of every everyone or whatever you want to line like if you, if you want to write down here is the detail of all the bidders that here is the list of all the bidders and okay let's run this but you have to run like this run file in python console after right clicking this name jenny and suppose 1 lakh more bidder yes ram with some bid price yes sham what is your bid some bid price no now say I am entering no so first it will show here is the list of all the bidders jenny ram sham with the detail and winner is jenny with a bid price of 10,000. Sorry, not 10,000, 1 lakh. So I guess now you got how to do this project. If you are not getting this thing, it's okay. Just write down this, um, the detail or you can say the code of this project on a piece of paper. And same method you have to apply. Dry run this. Take the values, 
right one by one step by step this first this thing then second this 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 like this right and yeah we have to add one more line like this that at first it should print you just simply print a welcome to the silent auction program so whenever you run that at first it will print this line okay so you just you can just uh, write down this thing in the code on a piece of paper and write on this with the help of you know some information you need to pass one by one first this step then this step then this step right so i guess that's it for this video if you are having any more issues here then you can ask me in comment section right so now in the next video we will see more about functions so now we'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care